It can even fill the gaps between my thighs. The worst part, but most crucial part, is the sanding. I want this mask to have an antique look, so I gave it black primer to be the base. The airbrush gives me an excellent flow to put down these microscopic beads of paint. Let's throw down some red. With the light spray, it already looks like rust. It looks like it came from the Age of Iron, might have been red at one time. Let's add some yellow. My eyes are playing tricks on me and it started to look a little bit green. Needs more red and it achieved this earthiness. It was so sick. It looked like a museum artifact. Outside in better lighting, it looked incredible. The airbrush paint is very fragile, so it needs a protective coating. I'm using a matte clear enamel finish instead of a high gloss one. For me, resin kind of irritates my skin, so I always, always, always spray it with some sort of protective coating. When it dries, you get that matte finish and it looks amazing. It looks as old as this 1988 Samurai. There are many mask designs online, but this one stuck out because of the traditional look. This mask definitely represents something inside of me. And I hope you'll recognize me on the battlefield.